high-end radio. I have to keep it a buck. Over the No Vaseline track, Fig, that was phenomenal. Good looking. We appreciate that one. Real shit. I don't know. It is Snoop's signing Snoopy Badass a wise move for Death Row? I mean, because last time that I checked, when signing an artist to a record label, it's a business. It's a partnership. It's a business. Um, both parties intend to make money. Now, whether or not he has plans for Snoopy Badass, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Straight up. But what I will say is this. Um, maybe maybe he has he has some sort of plans for him. I don't know. But I don't recall Snoopy, you know, like really dropping any He dropped plenty of music. Nothing really too memorable. No number ones, no hit records. Nothing that's going to say, yeah, with this machine behind you, we're going to catapult you into, you know, stardom. None of that. So at the end of the day, I'm kind of like wondering what's Snoop's, Snoop Dogg, Uncle Snoop, what's Snoop's angle with this? Does he know something we don't know? Obviously, the B team knows something that he don't know, and that's the fact that there may be some paperwork on him. Um, maybe Snoop's not concerned with that because their business isn't street business. Their business is music business. So, you know, you can take it how you want to. I'm not here to accuse Snoopy badass or nothing. I haven't seen any paperwork. From my understanding, it's floating around when it comes across. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Maybe it's valid. Maybe it ain't. Maybe it is. At the end of the day, um, are those demanding that Snoop rethink this situation? Are they hating? Nah, I don't look at it like that because it's people who are they love their culture. Now, no Snoopy Badass will not be the first Don move on Death Row, but the first Don move everyone's seen. Because, you know, you got Young Soldiers, Big Y and them. They was on the road. Pop thought he was a Don move, so he was on the road. Uh, Quick was over there producing, so it ain't like it wasn't no Don move homies over there. But this is a different situation. I personally, he wouldn't have been my choice as a signee. And that's not to hate on him. There's just plenty of other MCs out here on the West Coast, whether they street reputable or not, blemishes or not. It's some cats that he could easily sign that would have made all the difference and it would have been celebrated throughout the entire West Coast. Fig would fit perfectly over on the road. That's just me. Know what I mean? Uh, amongst a couple other cats. But, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know if anyone's hating. I don't know if anyone's mad at, at, at Snoop or mad at the fact that, that Snoopy, who's been in a lot of controversy, you know, since he stepped on the scene, does he even deserve that? So this will replay again on the High End Radio YouTube channel. So if there's any comments or anything you want to say, feel free to tap in, jump in, join in. I respond to all comments, period, point blank, because we here at High End Radio are thankful for every single one of you listeners, viewers, and followers, straight up. Um, once we figure out what's going on with the... Uh, paperwork if y'all haven't seen it and it's valid 
and it comes across our desk, for y'all that just have to, you know, be aware of who has paperwork on them and who don't, we may make it available on highendradio.com. Straight up. Now, y'all already know how I feel about Cats That Ain't From Cali with this blue and red thing. That's just my opinion, though. You know, um, 15 years ago, not even that long ago, a lot of y'all from other states were looking down upon California. Oh, y'all killing over colors. Ooh, y'all, no, whatever. Y'all didn't understand, but now y'all want to be a part of it because it seems like the popular thing to do. Shame on y'all. Quando Rondo. Rolling 60s neighborhood. At least that's what he's put out there. We all heard what happened when he came to L.A. and somewhere in South Los Angeles. Uh, some gunfire erupt, erupted and one of his partners caught a bullet and did not survive. Yeah, that's painful. It's painful. Losing anybody that you love. You know what I'm saying? Especially on some random out of nowhere type shit. It's a situation where Damn, who do I retaliate on? Do I retaliate? You know, it's just a lot of questions that come with that. So recently, Kwando has retired his rag. Now, big shout out to my guy, Star Wolf, another YouTuber who be doing this shit, who actually congratulated Kwando for putting down his rag. Now, in the preview shot of this conversation, there's a picture of Kwando and there's a picture of a blue rag set on fire. That's a no-no. If you're done, you're just done. Because by doing that, you're disrespecting all Crips. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Um... I'm not here to say who's authentic and who ain't. I'm just going to let you know that I'm, you know, anything outside of California, hey, y'all might be the riding this motherfuckers with the shit. You just might be. But, again, this shit older than some, this shit generations out here. Generations of red rags and blue rags. You know, it's not nothing that we just jumped on and just started. We didn't see another state and decided we wanted to jump on some other shit, but that's a whole other story. Um, Quando loses his friend. That's a sad situation, no doubt. Very sad situation. But what I am going to say is this. It's a 50-50 with me. I have to be completely honest because... Denouncing the gang, it took you losing a homie to denounce your gang. Is this your first homie that you've ever lost? Because with this gang shit, niggas get shot every day, B. Somewhere in Cali. Homies are lost all the time. Homies are lost at the hands of other homies. You know? So... Do I say, oh, you're the coward. You took your tail and, and ran. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Because for you to retire your rag and you still in your 20s, you should have never picked it up in the first place, bro. Or you should have did your research. You know, it's not sit back wherever I'm at, visit L.A. a couple times. Yeah, that's what I want to be. I'm rolling. I'm whooping. Because technically, we don't just accept motherfuckers just like that. So if you go 
back to your home state, or your hometown, and you push in your line, that's cool because there really isn't any official motherfuckers to check your cripping, to check your whooping. Um, I just wish that a lot of, I, I, I hope a lot of youngsters take this as a lesson. You know, cats that want to all of a sudden decide they want to gang bang. If Quando Rondo was your favorite rapper, it took losing the life of someone real close to him to wise up and realize that that ain't where it's at. The power is in family. The power is in unity. The power is in access. And knowing exactly what's going on. I'm not going to sit up here and shit on the, on, the, on the bloods and the crips. You know what I'm saying? I have mad respect for that culture. Real shit. Um, it has its good points and it has its bad points. So does religion. So let that be that. Um, at the end of the day, does the content of your music change? Are you still going to be sliding with sticks, doubling back with the pole on niggas? You know, don't straddle the fence. If you're done, be done. Um, big shout out to my my, my my young, my little bro, Jay Stone, all money in, who let him know, if you're done, you need to come to the set and get a put off. But then who really put him on? Is that fair, Stone? Know what I mean? I'm just saying. You know, uh, he was right there squabbling with Vaughn. And Vaughn lost his life. And it was, it wasn't put your rag down then. See, we can't be, can't have double standards when it comes to this shit. No, I'm saying accept it how it comes when you dish it or when you receive it. But again, to any young listeners, young homies who feel that they may want to join a gang, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid because situations like this happen. You know, it's fucked up because. We don't even know who the target was, the intended target was. Um, I'm just going to go based off of this. A lot of cats, a lot of rappers, they go online, they talk mad, disrespectful shit. They talk mad, disrespectful shit. And then when someone sees you, they can handle it however they want to because they couldn't handle you watching your live watching your vlog, watching you talk that shit on the internet. Shit real, shit real life in California I mean, when you're messing with these rags. For real. It's not a game. Um, thank God a lot of it is chilled out, but at the end of the day, it's some motherfuckers that are going to live and die for their turf. So be careful what you want to be a part of. For real, be careful what you want to be a part of. I'm not going to drag y'all and make this long and drawn out. I just wanted to make a couple points because, again, I'm 50-50 with it. If this is what it took for you to wake up and put your daughter in the forefront, that's what's up. I'm hoping she was already in the forefront, Kwando, real shit. But, uh, don't just put the rag down. Now is your opportunity to talk to young homies and tell them the shit ain't as powerful as family, as peace in your life. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Uh, but hey, motherfuckers is grown. I just hope you change the content of your music as well. Put the message in it. Straight up. Because this motherfucker's looking up to you. This motherfucker's looking up to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't realize the power y'all have on the internet. 
if y'all could change the narrative as far as wanting to smoke the ops and doubling back with the pole and the stick and the woo wop shit that y'all be doing, a lot of less lives would be taken senselessly. But uh, this your boy Joe Black, man. Shout out my guy, Mr. Caper. New and upcoming high-end radio episode is coming soon. This will replay on all of our platforms. So stay tapped in uh, and live. It's your boy, Joe Black. Oh, make sure you follow us on Instagram at high underscore n underscore radio one at Mr. Caper Radio host on Twitter under the same handle except for Mr. Caper is who is Mr. Caper. Um, Google us, man. We are Googleable. High end radio. We're hip hop bangs. And niggas live. Boom. <laughs>